Good evening. This is the Big Black Cock. There now follows an important public service announcement. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you'll be well aware that Britain is currently engaged in the biggest act of nationalistic masochism and self-destruction since the Suez Crisis. Rarely, if ever, has Britain been so divided. Indeed, one has to go back to the English Civil War in order to find anything like the current divisions between the enlightened ubermensch of the pro-European camp and those who failed to touch the monolith. Recent revelations about quite how disastrous Brexit could be does appear to have united people around one particular issue. Food security. Right now, I'm eating scrambled egg with a comb from a shoe. <laughs> Contrary to what you've just seen, food security is no laughing matter. And since the government seems hell-bent on proceeding with Brexit, despite it being an advisory vote in which people's opinions have changed and in which there was foreign interference and corruption, perhaps this is something we should address. Britain hasn't been self-sufficient in food since before the Second World War, and throughout that war we were, indeed, reliant on foreign imports. Furthermore, current food supply is imperiled by the fact that so much of it is based upon just-in-time shipping, which keeps prices low, shops responsive, and so forth, but which, in the event of disruption, will collapse. Now we Brits love our grub. It's one thing that unites us. We love it so much and we love the familiar so much that we even take Marmite on holiday with us to places with exotic and tasty cuisines. Little wonder then that this issue unites people. Of course your concern may be whether you'll be able to get quinoa, foie gras and capers, or whether you'll be able to eat at all, but in all these instances it is a fear about food security regardless of class and other divisions. Things are further complicated by the fact that we've been living under austerity for a rather long time, and so people's access to food is also rather fragile, with excessive use of food banks and so forth going on. While you may be tempted to stockpile food, essentials, beans, rice, pasta, these sorts of things, in doing so, you'll be driving up the price and cutting off people from the staples that they need. Meat Dodger, darling of the Guardian set and rhetorical piñata of the Daily Mail set, Jack Monroe, has taken to her Twitter to decry this very problem. Her Twitter? Their, their Twitter? Uh, I don't want to get embroiled in this issue. All is perhaps not entirely lost. In a seeming paradox, food insecurity and food poverty has led to an explosion of obesity, meaning that the lower orders should have a good deal of body fat to tide them over while we sort things out, and that should the need arise, resorting to cannibalism of the lower orders is a possibility and will also reduce the amount we pay out on welfare, benefiting everybody, most of all the devoured poor themselves. If, however, you have too much of a social conscience to hoard food and you're squeamish about resorting to cannibalism, then you really only have one option, hoping that this shower of cunts will sort things out in the nick of time. Thank you for your attention. Like a lot of you, I hate a lot, you know? <laughs> but 
I hate was style and creativity. 